Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we got a couple stories uh, to talk about tonight. Uh, I know it's a, a night video. I've uh, been a bit busy today. I had to do that adult thing, take care of my taxes, which uh, gets a little complicated uh, with work and obviously this whole YouTube stuff. But it's all taken care of. It's all filed. We're all good to go for 2022, and you want to be good to go as well. Well, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a what is it? Um, PlayStation 5, sorry, or an Xbox Series X. One person will get to choose a current generation console of choice. That's right, I am done calling PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X next gen. Guys, they're over a year old and they don't even really make PlayStation 4s or Xbox Ones anymore. It's time to start calling PlayStation 4 and Xbox One last gen because it actually was technically last gen the moment those new systems launched. So, you want to get a current gen system of choice, all you need to do is head down to the pinned comment or the description, click, click on that gleam.io link. The only real base requirements are that you subscribe to our podcast channel and this channel as well. The giveaway basically lasts now through the end of February. Uh, you know, we are going to announce the winner on a live stream, I believe on March 1st, but you don't actually have to be there to win. Uh, we might have some other things we give away during that stream, but this giveaway, you don't have to be there, you will be emailed and we'll take care of it behind the scenes. That that being said, let's get into the stories today. And the first one deals with Sonic Frontiers, that big Sonic game coming out later this year on basically everything, including Switch. And the creative officer of Sonic Team, uh, Takahashi Izuka, had this to say today. With Sonic Forces, the team set out to create a compilation of high-speed Sonic action games that flipped the usual Sonic storyline on its head, taking place in a world where the evil Dr. Eggman had prevailed. Within this new storyline and world, we created new Sonic environments and characters like the villain Infinite. With Sonic Frontiers, we are challenging ourselves to deliver on an all new style of Sonic action adventure. We're once again expanding the Sonic universe, bringing in new environments and additional features to create a totally new type of open zone experience. We focused on bringing Sonic to the next level and ensuring that he's fully represented as the character that fans know and love while still making his new form exciting so yeah open zone concept that really makes you think of you know xenoblade and breath of the wild and even you know mario odyssey stuff like that open zone environments uh that's a very common thing uh, with games of this type so we'll see how this game turns out again it's easy to get really really hyped for sonic games they always show very well in trailers they don't always deliver in the end uh but yeah i obviously have some hope for this game but i am definitely hyping responsibly on this one we'll see Maybe we'll get to play a demo before and actually see if it's any good before release, but uh, keep our fingers crossed on that. All right, this next story is, this one sucks um, because of likely what it implicates. So Retro Studios put out a tweet today, which that's exciting. The tweet was actually about Metroid Prime 4. That's even more exciting. Oh my gosh, Retro Studios is mention, mentioning Metroid Prime 4 publicly. This is good news. Is the game coming out this year? Is it coming out in 2023? What's happening? Are we gonna hear about Metroid Prime 4 this year? Well, the tweet said this. We are looking for a tools engineer and technology engineer to join us on our journey to develop Metroid Prime 4. Let that sing in for a moment. Retro Studios advertise that they're hiring by mentioning they're hiring specifically for Metroid Prime 4 and mentioning they need a tools engineer and a technology engineer, things that are often taken care of in early development of a game. Um, what the hell is going on with Metroid Prime 4? Retro Studios has yet to release a new video game since 2014. It's been eight years. By the time we get to next year, it's nine. And obviously, if Metroid Prime 4 doesn't come out till 2024, it will have been a decade. We're really not that far away from it being a decade since Retro Studios has successfully completed and launched a new video game. Now, maybe we end up getting Metroid Prime 1 remake somewhere in between that's been rumored, but again, still rumors. This is one that's not a rumor. Metroid Prime 4 was announced by Nintendo in 2017. This isn't a rumored game. Now, they've only been working on it for a little over three years technically at least according to what was announced publicly but I, I i i don't know what's going on 
Retro Studios has been non-stop hiring for a while now, and they rarely mention specifically what game they're hiring for. The fact that they're on their public Twitter account advertising their hiring page and talking about come work for us to work specifically on this game is like, they're struggling. They're struggling to find people to want to work for them. They're struggling to fill these key positions and they're using the Metroid Prime 4 name to hopefully entice developers that have always wanted to work on a Metroid game or a Nintendo game of this caliber to come to their studio. Why are they struggling so much that they need to use the game name itself to convince people to want to come work for them? What the hell is happening at Retro Studios behind the scenes? I was already concerned before they took over Metroid Prime 4, and this doesn't really alleviate it. Now, if this is what they have to do to get the people they need to finish the game, fine, but it doesn't really instill confidence. Whatever was hurting Retro Studios after Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze came out that caused them to not release a game since, I think is still plaguing the company. Now this makes me think it's probably a management issue, although that's obviously 1000% speculation, but this does not instill confidence in me anyways that we should expect Metro Prime 4 anytime this year, let alone next year. And we're kind of sort of getting to the point that if it's not this year or next year, maybe the best thing for this game is to not be on Switch, but instead to be on whatever system's coming next from Nintendo. Now, that's very dangerous territory, of course, talking about a game announced in 2017 and deciding we're just never bringing it to Switch. I mean, yeah, we got did get Metroid Dread along the way, but that would be, that would be a pretty big blow uh, to the prospects of Metroid Prime and obviously rock people's confidence in Retro Studios that, for my money, since Nintendo bought them, has yet to release a bad game but now they aren't really releasing games at all. Kind of weird. So, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about this. Are you actually concerned? Otherwise, I hope all to catch a bunch of you guys tomorrow. We will be live streaming Pokemon Legends Arceus during the day. I think the stream's either gonna start at eight, 8 or 9 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. I still have yet to pick out the exact start time. Uh, but yeah, we are looking to really dive deep into that game pretty much all day, maybe take a break and then hit it up at night. So we're gonna do two separate, really long, Pokemon Legends Arceus live streams tomorrow for launch. I hope you guys tune in. We really aren't gonna have any other video content tomorrow because the focus will be on this brand new game um, and playing through it and talking about it and experiencing it together as a community on launch day. So I hope you guys look forward to that. I actually wanna do that more often for other big launches as well. Maybe Project Triangle Strategy. We'll see if that's gonna be a big enough launch to do a whole day like that. Um, obviously Kirby and the Forgotten Land we could do that with as well. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I hope you guys decide to join me on this journey together. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.